Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to be comparing fractions using fraction strips. So our learning goal says, I can compare unit fractions using fraction strips. The materials that you'll need for this lesson are a dry erase board. So make sure you have that before we begin the lesson. All right, friends, so let's take a look at our fraction strips. So we made these in a previous lesson. So we have ones that are divided in halves, fourths, eighths, thirds, and sixths. sixths. <laughs> Some of those are tricky to say with those TH on the end. But just do the best that you can when you say it. So let's arrange these strips in order from largest unit to the smallest unit. Okay, so here I have one half, then one third, one fourth, one sixth, and one eighth. When comparing fractions, it's very important to have the fraction strips, strips lined up and be the same size. So notice how if I have my lines, they're draw or they're lined up nice and neat. Both of the ends on each side meet at the same point. I don't have one that's sticking out to the side as I'm trying to compare one third and one fourth. They need to be lined up nice and neat, just like this. So it helps when you're drawing fraction strips, which you'll be doing in today's lesson, that you want to draw them on top of each other because that helps to make the comparison much easier to find. So what do you notice about the size of each unit and the order of the fraction strips? So eighths are the smallest even though the number eight is the biggest. So just don't always go by the size of the number to determine whether that's um, the correct size of the fraction, okay? So in oftentimes, the more units, the smaller each unit will be, okay? So there's eight units in that top one, but they have to be smaller to share those same spaces, that same total or whole, I should say. And then the smaller the unit, the bigger each unit will be, okay? So like one half, that's a smaller unit, right? The two, two parts, but that allows each part to be much larger. All right, so look at one half and one third. Which unit fraction is larger, one half or one third? One half is larger. There are fewer pieces, but the pieces are larger. So think about if you had to share with somebody. If you share with only two people compared to three people, you're gonna get a bigger piece if you're only sharing with two. All right, let's look at one sixth and one third. So here's one sixth, here's one third. Which unit fraction is larger? So we're not talking about the whole because they're both the same size. We're talking about the unit fraction, which is one part. So which unit fraction is larger, one sixth or one third? Yeah, one third, right? There's fewer pieces, but those pieces are larger. What happens when we aren't using fraction strips? Like what if we were using, or we were talking about something round like a pizza? Is one half still larger than one third? So if we go from that rectangle shape to switching to a circle shape like a pizza, let's think about that. Hmm. Well, let's draw it. Let's draw a model for each pizza showing one half and one third. So draw a circle for one pizza, make it one half, partition it into halves, and then partition the other circle representing the other pizza into thirds. So go ahead and pause the video, draw those two circles, partition into halves and thirds, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, so here's my pizza for one half, and here's my pizza for one third. I don't know about you guys, but a pizza doesn't look very delicious. We need some toppings on there, but that's for another day. <laughs> So, friends, we're talking about one half and one third. Is one half still larger than one third? Yeah, it sure is. One half is larger. So just keep in mind when you're comparing these, as long as they're the same size, you can compare them. So no matter what shape they are, as long as the shape is the same size when you're partitioning it, you can compare those very easily. So the more we cut, what's happening to our pieces? 
the pieces are getting smaller. So every cut that you make, the pizza gets smaller. It's the same as our fraction strips. So don't get fooled by the size or by the shape of what you're comparing. Think about how many parts there are. That's the most important thing. All right, so we're gonna talk about comparing fractions. I'm gonna show you two fraction strips and you need to compare the unit fraction using the correct symbol. So we have greater than, less than, or equal. Here's an example of one third and here's an example of one half. So then you would say one third is less than one half or one third is greater than one half. So on your board, I want you to write the symbol that you would use, greater than, less than, or equal. And then um, you can write out less than or greater than, or you can write LT and GT. LT is for less than and GT is for greater than. Okay, so let's look at this one as an example. Okay, so there's my correct symbol for less than. So one third is less than one half. Okay. All right, so here's what you guys are really going to do on your own. So same directions. Here's one third. Here's one sixth. Okay, so draw on your dry erase board the correct symbol to compare those unit fractions and then write either less than, greater than, or LTGT. Okay, so pause the video and do that and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. So when I'm looking at these, one third definitely has larger pieces. So the larger unit is greater. So one third is greater than one sixth. Okay, I want you guys to take a minute and I want you to read that statement too. One third is greater than one sixth. So pause the video, read that real quick, and then click play for the next step. All right, friends, here's your next one. Okay, same directions, same symbols, new unit fractions. Okay, so one fourth and one half. So go ahead and draw on your dry erase board the correct symbol and then LT or GT. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video, do that, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. Otherwise, Here's what I came up with. So when I look at these parts, friends, one half definitely has much larger pieces than one fourth. So one fourth is less than one half. All right, so super, you guys did an awesome job comparing unit fractions with fraction strips. Okay, so please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends. Thank you.